Okay, this tutorial is just going to demonstrate the CSS box model. The box model applies to pretty well all tags, all CSS stylable elements, including, of course, uh, text uh, tags such as heading one paragraph, um, images, and divisional tags. I'm just going to do a very simple uh, demonstration of it here. I pre prepared an HTML page with a style sheet and you can see I've got some paragraphs and I've got a heading one. I've also got a divisional tag in here which I'm going to style. I'm just going to start with the heading one. So here I go, I'm going to make a new style. Uh, it's going to be a straightforward redefined tag and H1. And the first thing to say about the box model is there are sort of four parts to it if you like. The first is the element itself. So in this case it's the heading one, the actual text itself and the size of it here. The second part of it is padding, which you can place around that. So I'm just going to place 20 pixels of padding here. And I'm going to apply that. So you can see some spacing, space or some padding appearing around the heading. Outside of padding, we have border. So let me just put some border on here. I'm going to put 10 pixels of border, so it's very evident. There's the border. And going back to box here, outside of border, there is margin. So we have all those elements. We have the actual tag itself, then padding surrounding that, then border surrounding that, and then margin, margin outside of the border. Now, I'm just going to go back here and remove some of these from heading one and just put them on in a more useful way. So if I go to border, for example, and I remove the borders from everything, and then I'm going to reapply it. So we just have a line underneath. Let's do a five pixel rule, if you like. Let's make it red underneath H1. There it is. You can see now I'm going to go back to box. I'm going to put some padding. So my padding is going to be at the bottom. So this should move the line away from the text. There it is. And then I'm going to put some margin on the bottom to move what follows the heading away from it. I'm going to put an exaggerated amount of uh, margin, 50. So this should move the paragraph 50 pixels away, which it has done there. So that's a more useful use of the box model for a heading. Let's click that one OK. I'm just going to go and do a paragraph style now just quickly and uh, so that's the P tag selected and uh, if I remove padding and margin from these paragraphs you'll see there's some space between them. If I remove it you'll see that the paragraphs move together and uh, I'm just going to put some at the bottom of the paragraph. So I'm going to put 30 pixels at the bottom. And you can see them moving apart there. Um, so you can control space before and space after. If you wanted to have some space around, let's put 20 pixels of padding here. You should see space be added to all of them. There they go. That space going right around the paragraphs there. So. That's one way in which you might uh, use margin and padding on paragraphs. And the final thing I'm going to do here is I said I have a divisional tag here that I've already created and I'm just going to make a style for that. So this is of course uh, an ID and my divisional tag is called container. So for this I'm simply going to give it some positioning here actually. Well, it's not actually strictly necessary for this tutorial and I'll just give it some size let's just make it 400 by 400 and apply that so we can see it I'll give it a background color as well so it's obvious where it is well, perhaps we better put the height onto auto and let the content just push it down there we go and let's make it a bit wider actually let's make it 600 so now you can clearly see the effects of that. In fact, because I've got some padding on the paragraph, I'm just going to take that off 
Uh, so here's the paragraph. I'm just editing this. Let's just take that off. I'm going to leave the margin underneath it. And you'll see now that this box I've created called container that everything is in, that there's no space around it except at the bottom because that's the margin at the bottom of the paragraph. You can see there's no space here. The text goes right up to the edge of it. So if I just go back to my container tag here and I add on some padding, so I'm just going to put 20 pixels of padding all the way around, you'll see that everything moves away from the edges of the box. But by the way, we've got a width of 600. The, the box has now increased by 40 pixels because that's 20 pixels on the left-hand side and 20 pixels on the right because that's the amount of padding. So in the box model, the total size of the element is always, in this case, the size of the div tag plus any padding plus any borders, which we don't have, but if we did, plus any borders and plus any margin outside of that. In fact, let me just demonstrate that. If I just put on a bit of border here, let's just make it white, that should be visible. So there's the border, you can see that. And then if I put on margin, let's put 40 pixels on, you can see the whole thing moving away. So now we've got the actual divisional tag itself here. There's padding inside it, and then outside it here, we have a border, and outside that margin, pushing it away from its surround. So that's um, a fairly comprehensive description of the box model.